Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the Thai visa amnesty extension yet again. This has been a hot topic recently, and I've hesitated doing anything more specifically on this because I was kind of waiting to see if we were going to see any further evolution with respect to this overall policy on extending out the amnesty, if you will, or, or as they're, some are calling it, the grace period. So a recent announcement from immigration, I'll go ahead and throw that up on screen. This is from the Immigration Bureau, just to read a little bit here. Aliens have to submit an application for extension or prepare for departure and make 90-day notification of residence within the specified period of time. Now within this, and I will get into the real nitty-gritty on some of this stuff in some subsequent videos, but basically the thing to understand is, first of all, short-term, so-called short-term visa holders, those are your kind of what you would call your standard tourists. So that's tourists, transit visa, visas on arrival. Those folks need to make arrangements if they can't leave to gain some kind of a, an affirmative extension. Failure to do so can result into falling in overstay, and we all know the problems associated with that. Uh, next, they talk about long-term visa holders, and they talk about how you need to go ahead and deal with getting an extension. And then finally, they talk about 90-day uh, reports, that those are coming back online, and there's some specific guidance with respect to that, which we'll get into on another video. But the reason I want to get this video out is this looks like what we're going to be dealing with for the next roughly couple of months here as we're winding down this amnesty and as folks are going to need to either leave or go ahead and regularize their status for longer term stay here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 